What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So I wanted to talk about an investing platform that kind of flies under the radar most cases. And I actually didn't even think about this until I started using it. If you noticed on my channel, I started using a different platform um, to where you can see the stocks movement in days or in the current day or in weeks or in months or whatever. And it's an amazing platform. So I wanted to talk about Webull, the desktop platform and how amazing that platform actually is for, for something that's considered a lower end brokerage account. So before I get started, please hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one. And make sure that you get your free stocks with Webull down below, the platform that I'm using, free stocks with Webull. If you deposit $100 after you sign up, you can take that, that money, those stocks, and once they clear, you can take them out, cash them out, put them in something else, or put it right into your bank account. Now, when most people, when they think of Webull, they think of the phone platform to where you look through it and it looks really good. Um, it looks a little bit complex, more complex than what Robinhood looks like. But that's for good reason, because you get a lot of detail there. Now, it's not crazy complex. It's not something that you can really look at a dividend with like you do with Robinhood to where you filter down, but you're gonna get a really good platform on the phone. But I'm not talking about the phone. I'm talking about the desktop version. Now, if you go on the site and you go to downloads and you download the desktop version, um, I'm telling you, you're not gonna be disappointed because it's live updating and you're gonna be able to get a lot of great information, use a lot of different indicators and tools in order to figure out when you're gonna invest. So this is the platform here. This is what it looks like. It looks absolutely phenomenal. You have a bunch of different things that you may get a little overwhelmed with. Um, there are some things that you might need to add to this, but the main thing you wanna look at is this chart here because the chart gives you a lot of options. And some of these options include going up here and adding certain indicators. So you can add and uh, moving average, you can add VWAP, you can add all different types of indicators that you want on this, this stock. So then when you scroll in and you wanna look at a certain stock, you say, all right, well, I wanna see if this is moving upward or downward. I wanna see where the uh, descending um, support levels are or the uh, descending uh, resistance levels. And then you can start to draw things. This is where it ends up being really interesting. So you can literally draw a trend line if you wanted to from here to here and figure out where the channel is actually moving, um, where it's going, where's the descending and ascending um, support and resistance levels, whatever it actually is. Um, you can look at whatever the horizontal lines are. So basically you can say, all right, a support level is right here. You can put a horizontal line. You can go back up here and add another line here. And you could say, all right, well, this is not gonna go uh, below, above or below that. So if you're interested in a lot of this technical stuff, all of this technical analysis, you'll be able to build something really great with this platform. And I'm just starting to get used to it, just starting to really get comfortable with it, but there's a lot of things that you can do here. Literally, you can add extended lines, horizontal lines, vertical lines, whatever you actually want, you can add these different lines, these different trends, and it's very easy to get rid of it. All that stuff you don't wanna watch, you just trash it. Everything's trashed, um, and then you just go back here. If you don't wanna see any of these, um, these averages, then you can take away VWAP, or you can take away the moving average, and then you can look at some of these prices. Um, if you wanted to draw again, you can easily go ahead and draw and set up some of these indicators and be able to um, easily build something that will be great for your situation to be able to make the most money. So with this platform, you can literally do so much and you can add all different types of things here. So literally we can go to add widget and add all widgets and you can have so many different widgets here, whether you want to go with quotes and have all these different options here, options, quotes, key statistics, uh, time and sales, volume analysis, all of these different things that you can look at. Um, then you can go to trade, you can have classic trade, order entry, all of these different things. They give you um, a preview of things that you are looking at so you can set those things up. So um, you can look at a price ladder, which does help out a lot as well. Add that, um, which I do have a price ladder over here. So what I'm saying is that this platform I think is a little bit better than what Active Trader Pro would give you because as I start to go through Active Trader Pro, I really can't move through that as smooth as I move through this. You know, this just seems a little bit better and I might be moving my money over here. Maybe the only thing that I'm worried about is with the whole GMC and AMC situation, there was a lot of restricted um, funds or restricted stocks that you could not uh, buy into with certain platforms. Webull was one of them to where they took them completely off their platform. Um, Fidelity was one of those platforms to where it kept it on the whole time and I had really no problems with it until towards like maybe like a couple of days ago I had a one problem with it but most cases I bought the shares that I wanted to buy 
Um, so that would be the only thing that I have um, wrong with this platform. But either way, this platform is going to give you a lot. And this is literally just the beginning of what you can do here. I'm not going to go through anything super complex to overwhelm you. But if you are interested in a new platform, definitely check out Weeble down below. I want to do a full breakdown of maybe looking through a couple of things, being able to get some sort of technical analysis built so that I can gain a profit, whether you know I'm looking at um, resistance or support levels and being able to go off of those support levels, a profit target level. Once it hits that profit target, then I can sell or I can obviously set the limits for that profit target, but be able to figure out where that profit target will hit next. So it's always interesting um, to see all of these different charts and how they give you enough tools. And the thing about this platform is that it's free. You know, a great platform that's free, you definitely need to make this decision. So use my link down below, get your free stocks while you're down there, sign up for Weeble, um, uh, deposit $100, then you'll get your free stocks and everything will be golden. So hopefully you enjoyed this platform. If you do use this platform, let me know and let me know how much you love it if you have made some money with it because it's a better platform than what you were used to. Um, there are some platforms out there that do all this, but you have to pay for it. So um, it's definitely good to have all this stuff. So let me know what you think about it. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Don't forget, like I said, get your free stocks with Weeble and check out some of the other links down below, credit card links, my store, whatever it is, check it out. But I'm gonna get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next video.